Hello everyone, welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today I have a really quick tip for you. This is about the personal options and actually what a lot of people don't know is that when they track emails out of Outlook by default, what Outlook is doing or what Exchange is doing via Service I Sync is that when the email comes in, Outlook or Exchange is actually checking to see if the person that changed the, the send the email is actually someone that we know. It's an emailed enabled record in Dynamics. And that could be uh, a contact, a lead, an account, or even a custom record that has an emailed enabled uh, setting within the entity settings. And if you cannot find that record inside of Dynamics or inside your Power you know, platform uh, application or power uh, model driven application, then it will by default create a contact record. And that is the case regardless of whether you're using Dynamics 365 or whether you're using the power platform, whether you're using a model driven application, because contacts are available as an out of the box entity, regardless of the licensing level that you have. So by default, it will go ahead and create that. But if you're using Dynamics 365 and you're paying for the sales application, for example, perhaps your sales process doesn't start with a contact. It starts with a lead and you can change the default. Now you can do this for the entire company as an administrator, but today I'm gonna to show you how to do that for an individual user, because in some cases you could be like an outside sales rep that for you it starts as a lead, but not for everyone. For everyone, you know, for other users out there, it might start as a contact, so you might not wanna change it for everybody. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So where I'm going to go is I'm going to go into my personal options or personalization settings in here. And here I'm going to go into my email tab and notice that by default, it is automatically creating uh, contacts. It says automatically create records in Dynamics 365 and it's automatically creating contacts. That's the way it works out of the box. So once again, if you have the ability to leverage leads, you can always switch this to leads. And now it will go ahead and automatically create those whenever you track an email from a record that is not found in Dynamics 365 out of the box. And that's it. So you just click OK and it will save that as a default for you as a user without affecting everyone else. I hope you enjoyed today's tip and we'll see you next week.